Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mazelot Mission Channel. Today in this session, we're going to discuss about how to debug our program in Java. So most of you are asking me to make this session that how we can debug our Java code when we write something and we wanted to see how it is working step by step or line by line. So we'll see all these details in this session. So we are using this Eclipse IDE for this debug process. So I will make all other IDEs also to how to debug the process. So we'll do that sessions later on and we'll cover now on Eclipse IDE how to debug the any program. So this is as part of one of the interview question. I have created this uh, small piece of code and in this I will show you how to start debug and how to manage the debug process. So we'll discuss all the things and do watch this entire session so that you will not miss any step here. So let's get started. And this is a small program. Let me quickly run this program for you and uh, show you the output what it is. Right. So it is an addition and subtraction of numbers. So you can see the outputs here. Now it is directly uh, came here, but I wanted to do some debugging process where uh, on one of my uh, program line got affected and it is show throwing error. So I wanted to uh, see why it is throwing error and how we can fix those errors in the debug process. So we'll show all them. So to start debugging process in this Java code, you can see here the numbers here in the left section of this program page. So we have line one, two, three, four, and we have all these numbers and mainly starting from 16th digit, I mean 16th line. So I can keep a debug process at 18th line. So how we can do? So one way is double click. So as soon as you double click, it is saying a dot here. It says that line breaking point so this is a, a program name or a class name and you can add n number of uh, lines into your program so i can add like this i can add one more here so you can add as many as you like within your program to debug each and every process so most uh, best way is to keep the debug point at the starting line or starting first line of the method so that it will all uh, run from the start so now I have kept here three points here. So how we're going to start the debug process. So generally uh, when we try to start a Java program in Eclipse IDE, we just right click here anywhere and you go to run as and here you can see the Java application run as and then uh, the next to it, it has debug as and in a debug as you have a Java applications. Some may uh, see uh, more options, but likely to we can use the debug as Java application. And this is the one way right click and go. And from here, if you see here from the options here at the top, so you have here run option. So in the run option also you can find debug. So debug as Java application. So this is the second way. So one way is right click and second way is go to run and start a debug as. And the third way is in the same header section, you can see here new option and you have some icons here and here in the one, two, three, four, five, sixth option, you can see sixth option as the debug. So you can start debugging or select any class that you wanted to start debug. So you can see here the class, which is we are here. So that is showing here and let me start the debugging of this program. So I'm going to see the Java application. Now, as soon as we try to start the debugging process, we will get this window called confirm perspect switch. So this kind, I mean, this will take us to a debug process. So there's a normal editor. And as soon as we click on switch, it will take us to a debug process perspective. So let me show you how it looks. So I can click on switch. So as soon as I switch, I can see here there are uh, debug lines you can see or debug methods, whatever uh, the package class and that we have methods. So all those lines are showing here. So this is the debug and here in the program. So whatever code that you have, 
that all displayed here and you will get the console in the debug process and also you will find uh, one more option called variables so generally whenever we try to provide some variables right so all the variables are displayed here in the names and I just send to it whatever the value that we provide during compile time or runtime all those values will be displayed in the value section and you have a breakpoints here so now you can see how many breakpoints that I've kept so all these are displaying here and it is also displaying uh, breakpoints which are kept in other program so they are also displaying here I don't want to uh, get all them to be so I will make it all remove or I can simply go and uncheck the other right so I have unchecked all this and I have only this and there is a one more option we have here you can see show breakpoint supported by selected target so and we have skip all breakpoints so you can skip all the big breakpoints as soon as I click on this it says uh, uh, strike strike off number uh, strike off kind of uh, symbol here so it is saying that uh, these are skipped and in the program also you can see here it is saying as multi-line uh, uh, debug point and it is saying debug currently instruction point I think it is not showing it is striked off but you can see the line here striked off and if you again select it it will uh, undo all the operations that we did right and you have few more options expand collapse I think these are nothing to do and we have some expressions here so these are you can refer to them uh, as and when you need it but mostly we will keep this as variables so now we are at 18th line or which is a main uh, we are at stopped at 18th line so how we have to uh, see or move from here so we have two options to move from here so as soon as we keep this in the debug mode we see couple of more options on the header sections so here in this area you can see here resume f8 and you have suspend and terminate so as soon as you click on this terminate it will stop the debug process so you can do that any point of time and you have this step into and you have step over so step into is nothing but whenever we are calling in any method or our debug point is at that method so it will automatically jump into that method using step into so that is called as step into or fi is a shortcut and step over so it is to do with even though we have a function over there it will always go to the next line next line next line it will skip the method uh, internal implementation so we will click on this option step over now we are at uh, line number 18 if I click on step over so it will uh, came into line number 21 and as we have executed line number 18 so whatever variables that are in the variable uh, that are in the 18th line so all those variables are printed here and you can see adjacent to it there has values also and now we are in uh, 21st line and as this line is not yet executed we won't see any options or any values here so we are in the step of 19th and but uh, this is a function we are calling so the function is add so addition of two numbers here so I wanted to go inside that uh, function to debug process so how we need to do so if we have a step into so step over to move next step into it will go inside that method so if I click on fi or step into it will go to that specific method so as it is in the same page or a same program you can see here sometimes we may call this uh, using extends keyword and it is in different location it will jump to that method and as soon as the method is completed it will come back to this method so you can click on again step over so you can use this option uh, step over as it is in the line number seven and it is not a method so you can use the step over and there is a one more option which is enabled just now after getting into that method it says return to uh, return step return I think it, it will go back to the previous method I think I will click uh, step over and I will use this option as step return so if I uh, click on this it will it came back to this method so again you wanted to go inside that method then you can click on step into I think it is going next so we will see that in the next line 
so it has now taken that method and what is the value of this k here so k is 15 here you can see in the variables it is a 15 now we are in the print line i will click on start over again i mean step over so now we are in the uh, 25th line which is again the method i will go to the step into so we have seen uh, step into step over and step return and then you have a uh, drop to all frames and i think these are all the other options that we generally use i think these are the three options that we do mostly use in the debug process now you can see i can click on step over so i am within the uh, method so one of the method called subtraction and it has a value of x uh, minus y which is uh, taking as integer as z and it has written the value of z right and this method is executed now we are in return value so as soon as i click again step next uh, step over f6 and it will come back to this method right now these are all the options we have seen uh, step over step into and step return now i wanted to see uh, this method is not yet executed so this method has to be executed but i wanted to see what kind of values that it going to be print or what values it holds so uh, you can do one thing you can select this option you can uh, double click to this option so as soon as it highlighted or it selected you can use the control shift i you can use control shift i and it will give the value or cannot be resolved uh, to be a variable so i think it still has to be executed this line so i will try on this uh, subtraction method right so it says subtraction of two numbers m and n uh, it says minus 10 right so this way we can see what it going to be printed here and the one more option we have uh, in this debug mode is so we have a uh, compile time and runtime kind of uh, providing values right so in runtime i can edit the values so i wanted to give the value as 500 so in the runtime also i can provide it will still accept and it will not throw any error and you can still see the uh the response or the value of this method so you can see minus 477 m is 23 so it has subtracted from the 500 so this way you can see and there is one more uh, option or and feature in the debug mode whenever you try to edit something and try to uh, do a save option so i have edited this line number 25 and if i click on control s it will move to the first line right it says uh, some error message or warning symbol so i will say continue i think it is in the method uh, it is already executed that method so it is not went to the, the first debug point but whenever uh, it is not executed or when we try to do so i will do a redo again but uh, this will go back to the the first line which is in the method so i think it is done i uh, will go to the step over again right i think program is executed and let's say some error message here let me do again redo i think i will use the same previous values i think i just terminated the debug mode and you might be wondering how i i need to return back from debug mode to the normal mode so in the left corner section below of your close button you have this debug and then beside you have a java so if you click on that it will bring back to you the normal uh, code editor you can skip the edit, uh, I mean, debug process and come back to the normal way so this is how we do a debugging process in the uh, eclipse ide using a java approach and if you wanted to see more options then uh, do comment in my comment box i will help you out in the debugging process of java applications in eclipse ide i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you